Welcome Capricorn to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition read messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless, bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. Spirit, what can you reveal to me about the person that is connected to Capricorn? What can you reveal to me about the person connected to the sign of Capricorn? What is the energy or the vibration of the person connected to Capricorn? What is the energy or vibration? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So overall, I see we have selling, but it's kind of like in a neutral position. Also, we have missing you. We have anger, but it's neutral. And a gossip, also in a neutral position. So I have a feeling that there is a particular person that is missing you at this time, Capricorn. Um, they're not really angry. Um, I have a feeling that if this person isn't really approaching you at this time, they're just trying to avoid the gossip. Now, they could have done something to stir up, you know, that kind of uh, an energy, right? Um, also, um, I have a feeling that your person is suppressing their feelings, okay, about, you know, being free to choose to open up and approach you. Okay, there's something that they need to really, um, really understand. And I feel that it's in regards to being childish. So if this person has left things kind of astray or, um, you know, not in a good um, energy. Okay, that is what I'm feeling. I feel that this is your person. They actually miss you. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. So let's see what else. Bear, can you please clarify the energies of this person that is connected to Capricorns and love? What can you tell me about this person, please, Spirit? What is the energy of this person that wants to show through for my collective Capricorns? So if they were by themselves, I feel that they really want to kind of get out there. They no longer want to be recluse is what I'm hearing. We also have here divine timing and pause, but it's a reverse. So if your person was on that hiatus, I feel like there's movement, okay? And also we have destruction and it's in reverse. So um, I have a feeling like they dodged a bullet on something that they could have totally destroyed. And I really feel like this is uh, like the connection or a relationship with you, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and find out a little bit more about your person because whoever this is, um, they are clearly missing you. Okay, there's something that they could have done um, to kind of, you know, wanting to avoid a sense of gossip. That is what I, I'm hearing and seeing. Let's see what else. 
Spirit, what can you tell me about this person that is connected to Capricorn? How they currently think of you? How they feel? What is it that this person wants? What is their challenge? And what is the outcome? And if there's any kind of outside interference, please reveal that to me at this time. What is the situation in regards to this person connected to Capricorn? Thank you. All right, so we have here a hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. So if you've been in separation with this person, what I'm feeling is that they want to get out of the separation. There was something that they didn't want to see. And what they were not seeing was that they are the ones that need to take the initiative to push things forward. Okay, I have a feeling like maybe your person, um, they didn't have the courage to approach you. It was possible because of something that they said or did towards you in the past. Maybe um, they were avoiding the gossip. Okay, they don't want to be, uh, you know, the talk of the town, so to speak. And that's for some. But whoever this is, okay, I really feel like they know that um, there's unfinished business here between you and them. Uh, they're not feeling very stable. Now, for some, you know, maybe um, their home situation isn't doing so great. Um, I have a feeling like for some, maybe uh, they're going through some sort of separation with a spouse. Okay. Um, for some, they're not living with them. They're actually separated is what I'm hearing. Um, things are not really progressing for your person. Okay. Um, you know, and I feel like that's why maybe for some, your person is like in a, uh, like a rock in a hard place. As much as they want to approach you, they find it difficult to do it because of the gossip that might come from uh, them approaching you. Okay. So I have a feeling like a person is being cautious. Um, now they could be drinking. Okay. Um, they're not really happy right now. As a matter of fact, they're a little bit, you know, depressed. Um, they're trying to get out of it though. So they are in awareness that they're not happy. Okay. For some, they're going through a separation from a karmic. Now for my Capricorns, I was watching this and I'm talking about your person, you're married to them. Things are, are not so great between the two of you. And um, you don't want your friends and family to know that you're having like a rough time with your partner. Okay. And that's for some who are actually married to your person that's watching this. Um, the other thing I'm also feeling is that your person really wants to uh, really portray that things are okay with them at this time. They realize that, you know, whatever a damage that was done, it is done. They're learning to accept things as they are. And, um, and because of that, that's why they put themselves on the cold. So again, Capricorn, there's somebody that misses you, okay? They put themselves in that position to where they can't really reach out and connect with you. Both of you guys feel very distant, very cold, um, and I don't feel that cold towards one another. It's just, it's isolation, okay? Um, you know, there's definitely some sort of change because I see that they're, um, they're having some sort of idea and um, they have finally made some sort of decision that if they're struggling and this could be financial or you know this could be you know them uh, going from one place to the next um they've decided to not communicate okay they're holding themselves back from doing so and um they feel like they're in a in a tough position i really feel like this is financial Okay, so if you have your uh, heart set on a particular person and you know who that person is, I have a feeling that they're going through financial difficulties. And as much as they want to uh, come forward towards you, what I'm seeing is that, you know, they feel like they're just not in the position to do so. Okay, um, yeah, things are, are kind of stagnant right now between you and them. But they realize that, you know, 
this isn't over. Maybe there's something that they need to end before they can open up towards you. But look at this. There's a bunch of pentacles here in reverse. So if you're dealing with an earth sign, especially a Virgo, okay, I really feel that they need to leave a situation behind before they can open up towards you. So for, for a few of you, okay, you have a lover that is in some sort of karmic relationship and um, they're kind of at the tail end of that connection that they have. I have a feeling like things are not progressing with you because of that reason. Okay. The other thing is, is if your person doesn't have like another relationship with another individual, this could be financial. Okay. And they could be relying on friends and family for uh, financial support at this time. And they really don't feel like um, they can really open up towards you um, physically because of these feelings of lack. Okay. Um, they know that there was a lot of damage that was done in the past. And um, they're, they're really looking for themselves. Okay. I really feel that um, they know that they need to work on healing themselves. They know that financially they're just not stable. So I have a feeling your person's going through some sort of difficulty. Um, they're clearly thinking about the third party. So there's definitely some sort of third, uh, party interference in this situation, whether or not it's a person, place or thing. They definitely have been thinking about how to communicate this to you, but they're not clear yet. I'm also saying that they know that they were possibly selfish. So your person's possibly going down memory lane, okay? They're kind of afraid to approach you right now because of things that were spilt over. This could be karmic uh, situations. This could be something else, okay? Everyone's situation is a little bit different, but they're trying to get out of their head about not being able to invest into this connection with you. But I see that um, they, they are planning to put in the work. For some, okay, it's been three years, okay? So if you're reaching that three-year mark, I definitely see that they are wanting to work on something. Things are kind of transpiring, okay, or transmuting into a different energy, okay? It almost feels as if uh, your person is alchemizing um, like a different aspect um, because I see it here. Look, um, you know, they have some sort of enlightenment, or some sort of awareness. And that awareness is possibly due to a karmic partner. So the karmic, I feel, um, this particular person that was in your person's life, um, maybe uh, on the outside level, things were looking good. But um, the grass was not greener on that side because they realized that they were not happy with that person because that person actually turned out to be very controlling and manipulative. Okay, that's what I'm seeing with this. This person was very crafty uh, to kind of get their way with your person over here. So now your individual is starting to see the bigger picture. This this realization um, couldn't have been manifested in a short period of time. Maybe it had to take place within a matter of three years to seven years. Okay, so I'm seeing three to seven years for some. And uh, also what I'm getting is that you know, maybe a lot of time has passed. Maybe it's been about six years where things were not really working out from what I can see. And, um, you know, they have been uh, in their emotions here. Okay. Um, I really feel that your person just, they were not, uh, emotionally unavailable to really express their feelings. I have a feeling that whoever is watching this, the Capricorn that is watching this is actually more spiritual in nature. Um, you're possibly more mature and your person could be younger than you. If they're not younger, I really feel like they were not um, spiritually evolved as you cap, okay? Because I see that um, there is unfinished business here between the two of you 
and that was、uh, the thing that caused conflict. So there was a reason why things didn't work out between you and this particular person. But I definitely see that things are kind of coming full circle. There definitely has to be a level of healing in order for a new beginning to occur. So let's go ahead and see what else, because obviously this person is missing on cap. <laughs> So, they are currently thinking that they need to hold back.、Um, they're they're thinking, okay, why are they being so guarded? It's because there's a lot of people that is surrounding them, and I really feel like this person has chosen to go a different path.、Um, And so the people that they have chosen to be around with, they could be questioning them. You know,、uh, why are they acting this way? Okay,、um, I definitely feel like there's some sort of spiritual lesson that your、uh, love interest is actually going through at this time, and that's what I'm seeing. Now, how do they feel? They really feel like they they need to work on their sovereignty. Okay, so this is.、Um, Like you know, maybe、uh, developing a business on their own, or you know, just having the ability to not be codependent on a particular person, place, or situation for money.、Um, you know, they really feel like. This person was selfish. They're only out for themselves. They're only looking out for their own best interests, and because of that, I really feel that、um, things are not stable. Okay,、uh, that's what I'm saying, and they feel that it wasn't fair、um, for them to really, you know, cut you off or cut off the karmic because everyone's situation is different. Because why are they acting guarded and defensive? Okay, it's for a reason. Either they did this to you, or they did this to the karmic, or this person is a repeat offender. This isn't the first time that your person has acted this way towards other individuals, especially to those that you know they、uh, included into their inner circle. Okay, that is what I'm saying. I really feel like they have like some sort of a psychological thing that they need to really work on without knowing that they have an issue. Okay, just saying. Now, what is it that they want? They really want to open up and maybe come over and offer you a cup of coffee.、Um, I feel like it's an apology. They realize that they weren't able to let this thing go. Okay,、um, their consciousness is actually catching up with them, is what I'm hearing,、uh, and they really want to set the record straight.、Uh, in regards to love, this person was very immature at the time. Uh, when you guys, you know, were together physically, so they do want to make their wrongs right. Okay.、Um, also, what I'm seeing is that right now they definitely、um, have gained some sort of clarity that they want to work on.、Um, you know, kind of like working on the connection between you and them. Ah. <sighs>、uh. So sorry, guys. Um. Now, let's see here, because I lost my train of thought. Now, the、uh, obstacle, okay, is to offer you their feelings or a sense of renewal. I the obstacles for this person to come back, okay, and. Give you a new offer of love. I feel like right now they're actually having clarity that they need to work on it. So this is the thing: in order for them to manifest a reunion with you, Capricorn, they can't just pray on it or wish upon it. They have to put action behind their thoughts. Okay, right now they're thinking that they can't approach you because there's too much that's going on.、Um, is it really、uh, that issue? Okay. Now they only make it that issue if, if you know, that's how they're putting it. But if they're thinking that, you know, it doesn't matter what X, Y, and Z says or thinks about what they are doing, their action, or what they're choosing to do, they can actually work on this. Okay.、Um, because I see that they want to free themselves, whether or not they're in a relationship. With a particular person, I see that for some,、um, they're actually married and they're thinking about getting a divorce. Okay, that's how they're feeling. I I have a feeling like for some, they're still married to that person, but they still haven't 
um, gone through the separation, but uh, for some, they are, but they're still actually still uh, in communication with that karmic partner. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. <sighs> I really feel like um, this individual, it took them eight years for them to come to terms with everything that is going on in their life, okay? And so in the outcome, wow, I see here strength and the chariot. For some, you're dealing with a Leo or a Cancer, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, if your person was connected to a Libra, I feel like things are not going so well between um, them and that particular person, okay? Um, but regardless of the signs, I see that it's going to take them a level of courage to open up and connect, but there is a blockage here, okay? Um, they need to let go of something that they're committed to this could be like um a belief you know something that they they uh believed in for years so either they need to break their um their mental programming on like what's right and what's wrong you know societal beliefs um is this particular person the type to just follow the crowd or um are they stubborn okay it, it could be anything. The other thing I'm also getting is that they've come to some sort of enlightenment. If you're a twin flame, this uh, divine masculine realizes that they need to let go of their burdens in order to change because everything is impermanent, okay? Nothing is, is absolute. Everything, you know, happens in, in divine time. And they have the keys to the wisdom if they, they're looking for it. So either they're suppressing knowledge or wisdom, or they have the ability to gain wisdom and do something about it. Because I saw earlier on for some, maybe your person has an alcohol addiction, okay? And if that's the case, they're choosing not to see. Okay, because it's just too much for them to handle. It takes a strong person to get over any kind of codependencies to to really uh, change their life to go into a, a positive direction. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here so far. So let's go ahead and see. Let me pull out some messages. Hold on. Spirit, what messages want to come through from a uh, Capricorn's love interest? What is the message? So we have you're all I've ever wanted. Okay. Um, this person had come to terms with that. You know, for some, it could have been up to eight years, right? I mean, for some, it could have been longer, but that's what I'm seeing here so far. This person has known you for a long time, from what I can feel. So let's see. Is there any other messages that want to come through from your person to Capricorn? It really was me, not you. So they know that they have a personal issue, okay? Let's see, is there anything else, Spirit, that this person would like to say to the sign of Capricorn? So it says, I can't ignore the sign that I'm receiving any longer. Any final messages from uh, the person connected to Capricorns in love? Any final messages, please, Spirit? I wish I could take back the things I said. What did I say? This goes back to whatever I saw in the very beginning in regards to gossip. Why is it so difficult for this particular person to come back towards you? Obviously, I feel like they did something and it's not easy for them to come back, right? Um, 
maybe, you know, there's friends and family here involved and, you know, they know about your person's personal situation or maybe uh, yours. Okay. Maybe they know of you. Um, but regardless of, uh, you know, whatever the case is, they wish that they could take back the things that they have said. This person has regret. And I, I do see that that is why they are missing you. Okay. So let's see. What are the final messages that want to come through from spirit? Spirit, please reveal to me what are the final messages that want to come through. What is the guidance that you have for Capricorns at this time? What is the guidance message? Please, Spirit, what do you have for Capricorns at this time? Ashley, I'm not feeling this deck. Let me change it. So this is uh, the surrender cards. Spirit, what should uh, Capricorns surrender to at this time? What is going to help them in regards to the situation? What is the guidance? Surrender worry, okay? Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them, in, uh, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. All right, so Capricorns, if you are worried about your person, like, you know, will you ever, you know, have a chance with this person? You know, will they ever return? Especially if this person has been out of your life for many years. What I'm seeing is that don't worry worry okay there's a thing about connecting to your spiritual self or your higher self and it's through the power of meditation and when you do meditation you do breath work this is very simple you just focus on your breath that this has nothing to do with your person or the things that are actually going on in your life breath it actually gives you life and that is your life force you have the power to really transmute this worry into love Okay, and when when you're in the vibration of love or love frequency, okay, your person will receive that energy. Okay, so don't worry. So if you're in the energy of worrying about the whole situation, be in a space of love and light. Okay, your person knows that it wasn't about you. It was about themselves. They're taking accountability for it, whether or not they've admitted this. I'm definitely am seeing that. They know that they're seeing the signs, okay? So it's going to take a level of patience uh, whenever this person does return. And if you guys would like to receive a personal reading, you want to know a little bit more, you know, about your individual, you could uh, definitely book a reading with me at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. Okay. Um, you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.